floor. You can have a blanket or a pillow under your head. And let's lie down. <laughs> Why not lie down? <clears throat> Make sure you're landing on somewhere comfortable. And let's draw the knees in towards the chest and give them a hug with the arms. If it feels good to rock from side to side, do that. Or you can just hug them in and take a few breaths here. As we go through yoga this morning, you might see if you can do the practice breathing in and out through your nose. If you don't have a stuffy nose, that should be pretty doable. And breathing in and out through your nose is a really nice way to calm down your nervous system, especially when we make the breaths a little bit deeper. So a longer inhale and a longer exhale. Go ahead and place your feet down to the floor. If you have a yoga mat, your feet are as wide as your yoga mat. Let the arms rest out to your sides. And you're gonna let the knees go from side to side. So these are called windshield wipers. We're just letting the knees go to one side and then up and over to the other side. Not so much flopping, you're controlling this just enough so that you're not collapsing into each position. We're getting some hip movements and stretch through the legs. You can have your eyes closed for this first part. You're starting to check in with your body, see what feels good. And when your knees are over to your left, pause. Take a few breaths here. Noticing where the body feels that it's stretching. Where could you relax? I need to relax my shoulders. Up and over to the second side. And then take a moment to relax something, maybe your tongue or your shoulders, your ribs. And then bring yourself back up to center. You can lower your arms down by your sides, walk your feet closer together, and then let's reach the right leg up towards the ceiling. It doesn't have to straighten all the way. Start to circle that right ankle around. Making big circles with your toes and your ankle. And circle the other way. Good, and then cross your right ankle over the top of the left leg. And you're going to bend the knees in towards the chest. There should be a hole between your right and left leg. You're going to place your arm through the legs, catch behind the back of the left leg. We're in a figure four. Right. So I'm hugging my left leg in towards my chest and pressing my right leg away with my right elbow. Feel like a nice stretch for your right hip. Try and relax through the shoulders. Use the strength of your arms to draw that left leg in a little bit more. Press your right leg away a little bit more. And then release left foot down, right foot down. We'll straighten the left leg up towards the ceiling in the amount and start to circle around the left ankle. Again, your toes are a part of this circle. And circling the other way. Good. 
crossing the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. Roll the right knee in towards your chest, hugging behind the back of the right leg for a figure four stretch. It should feel like a stretch in your outer left hip. Continuing to take deep inhales, full exhales. And then releasing the right foot down and the left foot down. Good. If you have a blanket or a pillow under your head, scoop that away. Head rests on the floor, arms are down by your sides. We're gonna press the feet down into the floor and lift the hips up into a bridge pose. And then roll yourself back down so you can feel the spine going vertebra by vertebra down to the floor. Do that a few times, lifting up and down at your own pace. But again, breathing slowly and moving in a smooth way. The next time your hips are lifted up, stay there. Bridge pose. You're welcome to stay with two feet on the floor or to push your right foot down into the floor and lift your left leg up towards the ceiling. All of your weight is supported by that right leg. Try and lift the hips up a little bit higher. And place the left foot down, push the left foot down into the floor, lift the right leg up. Again, try to lift the hips a little bit higher. Good. And place the right foot down and bring your hips down to the floor. Let's hug the knees in towards the chest again, and you're start, gonna start to rock forwards and back on the spine, keeping your chin tucked in towards your chest. You're coming up and back a few times. And the next time you're up, crisscross your legs, and we'll come forward to all fours. So hands come under your shoulders, knees come under your hips. We'll find a cat cow here. Inhaling to arch the spine. Exhaling to round. Keep going. Following your own breath. Okay. And then find your way to a neutral spine. Good. Let your shoulder blades slide together. So you're kind of collapsing your chest down to the floor. And then think of sliding your shoulder blades apart from one another. That's a little bit tricky. It might feel weird, but essentially your spine is staying stable and your shoulder blades are moving. So it feels like you're moving your chest down and then lifting your chest up. A few more times. The next time you're spreading your shoulder blades apart and lifting your chest away from the floor, let's tuck the toes and lift your knees one inch off of the floor. My uh, hands are too baggy for you to see it, but my knees are floating of one inch off of the floor. This is a lot of core work. Feel your belly engaging here. Good. And then press the hips back for downward facing dog. You can straighten your legs or keep them bent, whatever feels good for you. Breathing here. Inhale the right leg back and up off of the floor. 
On an exhale, step it forwards to a lunge. We'll lower the back knee down and lift the arms up. Good. Place your hands in front of the heart and twist to the right. Good. And then back to center. One more time, twist to the right. And back to center. Place your hands down on either side of the front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee up off of the floor. And now reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, twisting. Look up towards the fingertips. Continuing to breathe. Bring your right hand back down. Step back for downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg back and up off of the floor. Exhale, step the left foot forward, lower the knee back, back knee down and reach your arms up. Bring your hands in front of the heart. Take an inhale. On an exhale, twist to your left. Inhale. Exhale, twist to your left. Last one, inhale. Exhale, twist. Look forwards, hands down to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee up off of the floor and reach the left arm up and twist. And you can look up towards those fingertips. And lower the hand back down. Step back, downward facing dog. Let's walk the feet forwards. You can bend the knees a little or a lot. As you hang over the legs, you can catch your elbows and sway from side to side. Let your head be heavy. And then release your elbows, bend your knees, and roll yourself up to standing. Find yourself standing in mountain pose. So the arms are reaching down, and you feel like the top of your head is lifting up. We'll step the feet wide apart and open the arms out wide. Good. Turn your right toes towards, if you were on a yoga mat, the top of your yoga mat. Bend the front knee, we're in warrior two. Good. It should feel a little bit tiring for the legs. If it's not, bend your front knee a little bit more. And then take that front elbow to the top of the front thigh and reach the left arm overhead, side angle. Should feel for it like a nice stretch for the side of your body. Then let's come back to warrior two and back into side angle. Last time, warrior two, side angle. Peeking under your top arm to look up towards the ceiling. If you want to, you can bring that bottom arm down inside of the leg, touching the floor, see what's available for you. And then let's straighten the legs, come up, and we'll turn our toes to the other side. Left toes are facing now towards the other side of your mat if you're on a yoga mat. Bend the front knee into warrior two. Inhale here. On an exhale, side angle. Top arm goes over the top of your head. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, side angle. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, side. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, side and hold. You're welcome to stay here or you slide that bottom arm down a little bit more for a deeper stretch. And then straightening the legs, coming back up. Go ahead and hop the feet together. Mountain pose again. Good. We'll finish our standing poses with a tree pose. So you'll bring one foot up to the inner leg somewhere, whatever feels good for you, and rest the hands in front of your heart. Finding something to focus on for balance. I'm gonna turn so you can see me if you need to see from the side. You're welcome to stay here in tree pose or begin to reach the right leg back or that lifted leg back and the arms forwards for a warrior three. This takes a lot of strength in your back. Good job. And then come back up to tree pose and mountain pose. Second side, tree pose. And focusing on something in front of you to help you balance. You're welcome to stay here or begin to reach the leg back, the arms forwards, warrior three. Back up to tree pose and mountain pose. Good. One more time, step your leg wide apart, hands to hip. Inhale, lift your heart up. On an exhale, fold forwards. You can take your hands to the floor. The knees could bend if you need to, or the head might touch the floor depending on how bendy you're feeling today. Again, allow the head to be heavy. Now take your hands to hips. Come on up to standing once more. And walk your feet together. We'll fold forwards, hands to the floor, downward dog. And as soon as you want, bring that to child's pose, knees apart, big toes touching, sit your hips back. And we'll rest here for our final minute of our practice. See if you can focus on your breath. Deep inhales and full exhale. All right, well, that was our full yoga practice today. I appreciate those of you.